increasingly people don't want the luxe and finery and the kind of really, you know, plush carpets and and silver, 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 and they can appreciate really amazing food and service in a more relaxed setting that doesn't, you know, that they can feel comfortable in. I've got, you know, I've spent my life feeling uncomfortable in a restaurant, you know, they relax and they feel less, uh, less like the poorest person in the room or really self-conscious, so we just wanted to do somewhere that, you know, that felt natural to us. Well, he cooks, and we... What do we do? You charm everyone, and you never have any experience. <laughs> yeah. Those roles kind of combine to create um, what we do at the restaurant. I think it's, as a lot of people have commented, hopefully that's what we've achieved, but ambitious food in um, a relaxed surrounding, which, you know, the service is attentive, um, but it's not overbearing and formulaic or, or wooden. As soon as a guest walks, through the door over there, you know, they're welcome really warmly and they're made to feel like as soon as you walk through the door, the experience begins basically. You see the bar, you see the bartenders working, you can hear the sound, you see the kitchen, and just making sure that kind of continues throughout you know, the moment you sit down at the table till the last thing that you eat and drink and you leave. It's a whole experience, you really want to welcome people in. You know, we, I think we take a lot from doing it in the flat, and it was welcoming someone into our home. And the kind of that, uh, we try to apply that same ethos to here. Yeah. This isn't like work for us, it really is. It's everything to us, it's our life. And I think, you know, we want that to come across when people come.